This is how we were warned it would be. President Reagan told us from the very beginning that he believed in a kind of social Darwinism, survival of the fittest. Government can't do everything we were told, so it should settle for taking care of the strong and hope that economic ambition and charity will do the rest. Make the rich richer, and what falls from the table will be enough for the middle class and those who are trying desperately to work their way into the middle class. You know, the Republicans called it trickle-down when Hoover tried it. Now they call it supply-side, but it's the same shining city for those relative few who are lucky enough to live in its good neighborhoods. But for the people who are excluded, for the people who are locked out, all they can do is stare from a distance.